Today, I'm gonna to show you the easiest method to edit your first YouTube video. Oh, and by the way, it's all free. Let's jump in. So there's a lot of editing applications out there and some cost money, some are free, some are trial versions, things like that. But the one that I found that works the best for ease of use and being free is CapCut. So we're just gonna head over to capcut.com and this you can use on as a downloaded app on your computer. It also works on your iPhone or your tablet or your Android device, whatever you want. In this case, we're just going to do the all online version of CapCut. We're not even going to download it onto our device. And I'll show you how easy this is to work. So we're going to click up here and go try CapCut online. And it's going to open it up here. It's going to ask you to sign in or create an account. All right, so first and foremost, you wanna add the video in that you want to edit. And you'll see over here, you have the side panel of a lot of different functions that you can do. And we're just gonna start out in the media version and we just wanna upload a file. You can also upload an entire folder, whatever you want. So we're just gonna to navigate to some videos here that we've done. Let's open this one up. And you can see here, it shows the progress bar here of it uploading. While that's uploading, we're gonna go up here and I just wanna rename this. We're just gonna call it my first YouTube. Uh, just so that as it's automatically saving to the cloud, I wanna make sure that we know what, the, what it's called here, okay? So what we have here is this is the video and this is the preview of what it looks like, very similar to what we're looking at right here. And so, and then you can play this back and watch it just like this. You can grab this playhead and scrub it over to find a certain section of the video. So what I always do first is I take the primary video, your A footage, and I just wanna cut that up. I just wanna cut out all the, the mistakes that I made. I wanna cut out any of the spaces or the ums or the gaps in there. And so what I'll do is I like to stretch this out just so it fills the timeline. So you can go over here and click on zoom and you just so you can see a little bit more space here. What I'll do is I'll just watch through the video and stop it wherever you wanna make a cut. And as long as the video is selected, you'll have this menu that'll pop up here and you just click on split and it'll add a cut right where your playhead is, okay? And then you can click on the part that you don't want and just click delete and it's gone. And then you can go through and just really make all the cuts you want. And again, I'm doing this quick for example sake, but just to show you, you don't want that scene in there. You don't want that one. And now you've got this all cut up the way that you want it. And then over here, you can add some other elements. You could add a transition, okay? Just click on that. It'll show you some different transitions here. So you just, again, just drag that over, put it between the two clips, one. and now you have a nice transition. One. Just like that, okay? And then you could also add some music. So all of those things are right over here on the side. Great, we're gonna add that music there. All right, and you see it adds a separate clip down below as your music. And you could change the volume of that. We'll just bring this up just a little bit so I can see a little bit more of this. Click on the basic and you can bring that volume down, right? And now, and you search for the lawnmower that way. There okay. you go, right? So you can add all those effects and then maybe at the end, I wanna do a little effect here. I wanna add some titles. They have all of these templates that you can use. Okay, I'm just gonna bring this over and you just add that on top of there. Uh, you could resize it, okay? And we'll see what that looks like. You also have some filters, so you could add some, some textures. Now, some of these are labeled pro, so they do require the full version. But some of these you could just go, I just wanna add a little bit of amber look there. So it applies this filter over top. You could take it, extend that, you know, so you have that over the whole video. And so once you have it all cut the way that you want it, everything on top of that is extra. Now, my general rule for editing is less is more. Sometimes you can get really lost in adding all the fancy textures and all the fancy uh, titles and effects, but I think the most effective videos are pretty straightforward. Just to make sure that all of your sentences flow and have a clean edit between each thing that you're saying, you cut out any of the mistakes, maybe have a title at the beginning, 
a closing title at the end, especially for your first one. And you can always experiment with new things as you go. And, and again, with CapCut, all of this stuff is sort of built right in here to really get a lot of great options in there. So once you have it all edited up and you can watch it back and see and make sure that everything is just the way you want it, go up here to export, click download, and you can name it. You could change the resolution if you want to do like a higher resolution, the frame rate, all of that. But you can leave all that the same. Click on export and it's going to process that and save it onto your computer. And with that, you have your first video edited and ready to post on YouTube. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.